Hello, this is Dennis Kay down here on the beautiful island of Amargus Key, Belize. Today I'm with Taryn and David, and we're shooting an episode of Paradise Hunters, Belizean style. So guys, tell me about what you're looking for here in Belize. We're looking for probably a two-bedroom place that we can um, easily rent out right now as a vacation rental, but um, I do plan on moving here permanently within five to seven years at the most. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> and you, David? Yeah, I'm looking for something on the same lines. Uh, definitely somewhere that we can make some money on in the initial stages and then move forward to living here for an extended period of time, hopefully the rest of our lives. Permanently. Excellent, excellent. Well, welcome to the island. i got a, several properties I want to show you today. Some of them are properties that you probably want to live in. All right, you want to call your home when you move here to the island. But other properties too are going to be more of an investment property, like for you, David. Something you can buy now, get into now, flip in the future, and eventually end up with exactly what you're looking for. So you ready? Yeah, sounds ready? good. Let's go. All right, let's go. So this is an example of a one bedroom, two bath. All right, come on in guys. So this is an example of what you can figure out lost your houses. This is a one bedroom unit directly over facing the ocean. It's a fantastic unit. If you notice, when you're at lost your houses, all of them are, are furnished very similar. The same furniture package, same artwork. So uh, feel free to take a look around. Space. <laughs> what I like about the kitchens here in Las Trazas is they all have the stainless steel appliances. You have the granite countertops and a lot of workspace here. Yes, yeah. Yeah. A lot of and you guys like to cook. Like Put some people out here. there. Absolutely. Is the sofa a pull-out sofa? I believe so, yes. We can have friends come yeah. over. Yes, absolutely. Great. Plenty of room in here. Yeah. Let's take a look at the, uh, the bedroom. The bedroom is fantastic because it overlooks the ocean. This is what you're looking for. Is that the exact right there? Paradise. Very close. Like, why leave your bed? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. This is actually what you want. I know. I love it. Lots of light in here. Okay. So that's part of ours as well, right? The terrace area right here? Yes, that's correct. You can go to a private sitting area out there. Yeah. That's fun. Very nice. What I like about Las Terrazas is you're only three and a half miles from town. And you can take the water taxi back and forth, get here very easily. Or you can take the golf cart. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm sure you've been on our road. Back yeah. There, so. it's and it's getting better. In fact, the town council just made an announcement this spring that they're actually going to turn that into a proper road. Oh. I'll it, expand it. Nice. So uh, when you come back next year, she yes. can do better. That would be good. amazing. That'd be great. Uh, this is cool. Yeah, bathroom. bathroom here with our glass shower. Oh, oh nice. Nice. It's big. I like that. It is big. Very nice tile. This is nice. This is perfect. Just enough space. Yeah. Okay. I know you're not going to be living here for a couple years, so this is important. This is like your owner storage closet. Okay. So let's say you come down here three or four months a year in the meantime, and you want to leave your snorkel and diving gear and things like that. Yeah. This is a closet you can actually put a lock on, so as you're renting it, the guests aren't allowed into your personal things. So oh, nice, okay. nice large walk-in closet, yeah, plenty of room. And then when you do move here, you have enough place to put your stuff. Yeah, yeah. great. Sure. Love walking Another key feature that's important for both guests and when you live here is each of the units have their own stackable yes. washer and dryer. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So I mean, you can pack light when you visit. Yeah, that's great. Let's go take a look at the pool on the beach. All right. Great view. Thank you. Let's take a look at the pool on the beach. All right, so the reason I wanted to take you over here to the west side of Ambergris Bay is because the waters over here are absolutely beautiful. And as I was mentioned, when you look at this map, this east-west connection road that we just drove down is really a game changer for the island because for the first time in the history of Ambergris Key, it allowed property owners to drive from San Pedro Town 
up the East Coast, right across. It can be here in about 35 to 40 minutes right from San Pedro. So uh, what do you think about the area so far? Um, I like it a lot. It's surprising where we're staying currently. Uh, there's a lot of grass and seagrass that are in the area, so it wasn't that great compared to what we've seen. Uh, but this is amazing. I mean, clear water, no seagrass. I mean, there's nobody else here. Definitely have that privacy that we're looking for, so it's amazing. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I agree. I mean, I'm definitely here. This is why I want to come to the Caribbean, so I can see this turquoise water. and. I love it that there's no seagrass here and I can easily just get in the water here and not be afraid of anything. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Now, we were going to look at some condos, of course, on the east side, things that are already built. But as an option, you can buy one of these beachfront lots in this area for between ninety to $150,000 and build your own home. And for the price of a condo on the east side, you can actually have your own single family residence anywhere right in this area. So where does uh, the land stop and where can I start building? Is there like a, a limit to how far away from the ocean I have to be? Absolutely. In fact, there's a lot for sale right here. So why don't we go take a look at it? Sounds good. Great. So this is an example of an actual lot that's for sale. It's 65 feet wide by 110 feet deep. And your property markers are about 20 feet away from where we're standing. So what it is, is you have to stay back 10 feet before you can build your home. But then you have this area out here called the beach reserve. So this is the Queensland. And what some owners have done is they removed part of this bedrock and actually added sand to create a beach. But really, you want this bedrock here because it protects from beach erosion. In fact, I want to go down here and show you one that the owner recently has done this to. Sounds good. That's amazing. Um, so how did he get all the sand here? Because it definitely doesn't look like what it looks like over on the other sides. You know, that's a good question. The builder that he chose actually got a permit to pump sand right out here from the seabed. And so the entire lot was filled with the sand and then they actually planted these palm trees. These palm trees are only a couple years old, but you see the vision of taking a raw piece of land like what is next door, creating it like this. And this just is an absolutely pristine area to build your own home. Wow, that's amazing. Um, one of the questions I have is, there are a lot of trees that are here. Um, when they did the clearing and leaving some of the bedrock that you talked about, is that something that was incorporated into the cost for the builder, or, or how did that play out? Yeah, with this particular lot owner, they had all this prep work done now, even though they're not going to build for several years. But what I encourage people to do is, you know, just wait to get ready to build. No sense putting the money in the property yet. And then when you get ready to build, sit down with your builder, plan out your vision, your dream, and then have them do everything in one shot. Sounds good. So, is there any more open areas this way, or the majority of them uh, back toward the direction we were in? No, that's a good question. When you look at lots in this area, you have to take into consideration the road access. Once we get too far from that east-west connection road, access becomes an issue. It's boat access only. So I would say the sweet spot is anywhere between, well, oh, maybe four or five blocks this way, and then four or five blocks the other way. So. With that, I have some really good investment lots. They're not on the water, but they're back in the subdivision just over here about a mile. Let's go take a look at those. All right, so earlier, David and Tara and I was talking about properties that would be good strictly from an investment standpoint. We're at one of the subdivisions halfway between the east and the west side beaches, and this area is very popular with investors and people looking to build second homes, retirement homes, especially with the retirement fund money. So let me ask you, do you guys have IRAs, 401ks, other investment properties like that? Yeah, we yes, do, we actually. both do. We uh, actually have 401ks uh, as well as IRAs. Okay, excellent. Now what people don't realize is that you can buy property in Belize with your IRA. The key is you can't buy that property to use yourself. So you can't buy a condo and then use it, but you can buy investment properties such as these. And why these are such a good investment is because you can take advantage of leveraging. The developer is offering to finance these with $2,500 down, make low monthly payments, and all of that money can be invested using your IRA. Then when you retire, you have your lot, you can build on it, you can flip on it. So I'll go through some numbers with you later in the office, but this is one of the best investments I have on the island. Come on in, guys. This is a one-bedroom unit. We're at Grand Caribe. And in my opinion, this is the best one-bedroom unit that's on the market right now. I love this. Give you a minute to take a look at it. Yeah, I love this. I love the built-in. Very nice. Furniture's included? It is. All the furniture is custom-made. This is all Belizean mahogany that was made just for this unit. Nice, spacious living area here. And check out this kitchen. Okay. It's perfect. It's I like the it's the appliances. It's really nice. 
you have stainless steel appliances, all granite from the house. You do a lot there. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> the unit does come fully furnished, so everything you see here is included in the best. Perfect, all the appliances. Very nice. So you have your living area here. This is your bedroom. Oh wow. Well, this is good sound. This one has a lot of built-ins again. It just makes it convenient. It does. Ooh. The closet is big, Terry. We have a large walk-in closet. <laughs> wow, look at this. And again, if you're going to rent it for a few years before you move here, that's important because that can be your lock-off closet. Yeah. Oh, okay. First home items in there. Mm -hmm. And then my favorite part of this unit Second favorite. <laughs> Second favorite is the bathroom. We're oh, gonna see wow. my favorite in a minute. Here's the bathroom. Oh, awesome. This nice. is nice. I like the tiles scenes. and the walls and the accents. Mm -hmm. Oh, dual shower heads. <laughs> Something you've always wanted. Oh, wow. oh yes. <laughs> this is great. A lot of space. This is really good. Space. This is great. Definitely big enough for us. Well, interior space, but you know, you don't spend a lot of your time inside your unit here when you live in the ladies, so spend all of your time outside. Mm -hmm. So, check out this view. Oh, wow. This is your own private balcony. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. That's a good view. So far over there. The only problem is the trees and the clouds get in the way of the view. <laughs> it's kind of obstructive. Yeah. Oh, yes. And sometimes you hear bit. that noisy phone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this wow. is great because you get the pool view and the, the sea view. That's perfect. You have so much privacy up here. You can see the way the buildings are laid out. If you're sitting here having your morning coffee or your wine at night, you really have a lot of privacy. You don't hear any noise coming up from the pool because we are on the third floor. So they have restaurants here as well? Yes, there's a, right now there's a grill right at the pool. They serve great salads, burgers, french fries. And then across the street, they're going to be building a, another restaurant. So there'll be two restaurants right outside. Oh, perfect. Three pools, large pool mm -hmm. plus two side pools. And you're only one mile from San Pedro Town. That's good. So it's convenient. very convenient. Yeah. Yeah. Easy to drive into, easy to take the water taxi back and forth. So those chairs and things out there are part of ours as well? Exactly. It's all part of Grand Caribe. You're welcome to use any of the beach chairs. And also it has a nice dock. So if you were to have your boat like you talked about, David, you can keep your boat right out there on the dock. Perfect. And the reef line is, what, about four or 500 yards from us? So you can be out to the reef snorkeling, diving, fishing in a minutes. <laughs> Perfect. How long does it take to get event. from here to uh, St. Pedro Town via boat? By boat? Oh, you're looking at four or five minutes tops. For a little bike ride. <laughs> well, the next thing I'm going to show you is there's a two bedding unit here. I want to take you to see. And then the sister property in the Grand Cree is Cree Azul. It's right next door. I'm going to show you a beautiful one up in there. All right, so step inside this unit. This is a complex called Kareem Azul, and this is one of the premier one bedrooms in this new place. Looks pretty nice so far. Check it out. I love the tile. You have a massive view. Oh, wow. That's so nice. That's great. You can't be that view. <laughs> no, not at all. You have a very high end kitchen. guys we saw a lot of properties today so i like your thoughts on uh, what you enjoyed about each one of them first of all we toured this beautiful resort of las terrazas so what is your opinion on this place um i really like this place i think it has um it has definitely has a style that we have 
right now at home. It's that modern look, um, the all white walls and all that kind of stuff. So this is definitely fits our lifestyle right now with what we like. So I really like this. And again, the beachfront property is awesome. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, then I showed you a property over in Amargus Bay, which is on the west side of the island, just as an option of what you could build if you don't want to buy a pre-existing condo. So any thoughts on, uh, on that part of the island, what you like, maybe didn't like? You know, it was uh, it was a little bit different, uh, but it was something that I was very interested in. I think the idea of us building something that was our own, uh, adding to the island in the way that we would like, uh, making our own custom beach and that space and that privacy uh, would be really great. And it was reassuring that there was going to be additional things there, like a grocery store that's already built. So it seems as though it was a really good option. Excellent, excellent. All right, so after that, we came back down crossed the east-west connection road and we drove down to Grand Caribbean. We saw two units there. We saw a one bedroom and a two bedroom. Out of the two, which one would be your choice? I think for us right now, it would definitely be the one bedroom. I think the two bedroom was just a little bit too big um, for us, just especially if we're coming down just to visit for a vacation at the moment. So I think the one bedroom was um, better and I loved the built-ins that it had and just the great view of the pool and the water was just amazing. So. Excellent. And what about Carib Azul? Now, Carib Azul was the sister property, still part of the Grand Carib complex, but Carib Azul was that beautiful uh, ground floor, beach level, one bedroom. Uh, it wasn't furnished yet, but any thoughts on that? Yeah, we actually saw it uh, earlier in the week when we were riding, uh, and we thought it looked amazing from the outside. Uh, we were really excited to see it, and then we went inside. It was great. It was really spacious, very modern, a great open kitchen. Uh, it was definitely perfect and a great view, really good view. Excellent, excellent. So we saw a lot of properties today, and the magic question is, if you were to buy today, which one would be the winning property? Are you thinking the same thing I am? I think so. The Grand Carib. Yes. <laughs> well done, Grand Carib. All right. Well, excellent. Well, this has been Dennis K down here on the beautiful island of Ambergris Key, Belize, with David and Taryn. Thank you so much. I had a wonderful time showing you around the island today, and I hope you can call this beautiful island home in the near future. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good day.